Vault Dwellers. My name is Nacho Bidness, and we're going to talk about the keypad locked door today. Well, I looked on YouTube and I found just one tutorial. There's probably more out there, but I only found one, and I feel like it missed a number of the most important things. So I'm going to make my own tutorial and talk about this keypad locked door and we're going to do it in two parts. This first part we're just going to cover the basics and next part we're going to cover some of the cooler things and the more advanced things that we can do with this door. Now as far as obtaining it goes, if memory serves, the plans can be bought in Watoga and also in what was the name of the tap Harper's Ferry and when you get them you'll notice a couple of things this there's two varieties there's the brick version and the wood version now I prefer the brick version because it's much more durable it takes a lot more hits from either another player or an enemy to actually break the thing. However, what you probably will see right away here is that it's built backwards in that the keypad to lock people out is on the inside of the door, which is just too bad and it also makes it a little bit tricky to use because on an external foundation only the external wall is available to us and so to make this thing work a little bit better what we can do is put down an extra foundation here just outside of the space where we want to work and that allows us to select the orientation of the door that we want. Now this is also 5347. 5347. This is also a little bit dependent upon if there's a wall next to it. So my recommendation is place your door first and then build the rest of your base around it. Now another thing that I like to do with these doors is you noticed that it gave me a code when I put it down. Now I think that it is nice to give myself a little in-game reminder of what that code is and I could just put down 5347 but I think that it is maybe just a little bit better to offset those like I'm doing here instead of putting down 5347 I just subtracted one from everything 4236 if another player comes along and finds this and decides to try this on my door it's not going to work and odds are they're just going to move on after it doesn't work on the first try. So just an extra little bit of security. Of course, you could just write it down on something uh, in your house as opposed to putting it in game, but I think it's fun to add a little role play element and put it in game. So as far as wiring this thing and operating it, the instructions in game are pretty bad and leave out quite a bit. So there are two places to hook power to this door. The first is this very obvious box on the out on the side here. And with power connected there, what we'll find is that what was that code again? Five three four seven. 
what we'll find is that we can enter the code and the door will open, right? But if we've built a base where this is, door is locked on the outside and there are no other exits, how in the world are we supposed to get out of this thing? Well, that's where the second part of the door wiring comes in, in that there is also a place in the middle of the door to wire to, and that will open the door. And the problem with just using that is that now our keypad switch is inactive, right? The door just stays open. How do we get around this and turn this into a functional door? And the answer is that we have to wire to two places on this door, and one of those places we should use a switch of some kind. Now you can use any number of these switches. You could use a pylon switch and like step through the door and turn the pylon switch on and off. You could use one of these electric eye switches. I don't have Demo Expert uh, right now, but the thing with those electric eye switches are that they are kind of glitchy. So what I like to use for this particular application is I like to use a pressure plate. So we can put a pressure plate down on the ground and get power going to that pressure plate from anywhere. And then hook that pressure plate to the center connector of the door. And these pressure plates do tend to spawn stuck in the closed position, so we're just going to step on this a few times, and there we go, finally got it unstuck. So now we can walk through our door from the inside, and it closes behind us. Or we can enter our key code from the outside, and the door will open, and we can step through, and it will close behind us. So that is just the very, very basics of how this keypad operated door works and how to use it and how to wire it. But there's a lot more things that we can do with this keypad door. So that is going to be in the advanced video for this door. I hope you found this information useful, and if you did, please hit the like button down below. If you didn't like the video, please tell me why in the comments so that I can try and do better for you next time. And if you want to see more, especially if you want to see the second part of the series here, be sure and subscribe. Until next time, my name is Nacho Bidness, and I'm saying it's a great big wasteland out there. Let's go have fun in it.